Southern California and I'm gonna do a little quick haul video today uh, I just got back from my uh, honey hole somebody I ran across on Craigslist picking up some uh, free packing materials and as it turns out she's basically clearing out her house of a bunch of stuff and so she's been giving me a lot of things uh, the last video you saw a whole bunch of aluminum stuff that I uh, got from her aluminum decorative wear mid-century stuff well today I was back there to pick up some more things and it just kept coming the more we moved around and dug around in her storage area the more stuff got exposed and stuff that she wanted to get rid of so I get my pick of all of that stuff and I'm gonna show you some of it today some of it's pretty awesome oh by the way it's uh, Friday the 22nd Alright, this uh, little guy, brand new in the bag, never been used. She was going to start, she bought a lot of stuff from eBay, so I have some of the paperwork to show the provenance on some of the stuff that we got, uh, that she gave to me. Uh, but anyway, this is a, uh, in a package, this is one of those little pop-up uh, uh, light boxes, those little nylon spring open night light box things, never been used, still brand new in the package. Uh, this is just a little, uh, everything's very dusty was in her storage and stuff. This is a little uh, magnifier headband thing you put on your head and it's got flip down uh, lenses uh, and a bunch of different lenses and got light bulbs and stuff in it. So uh, it's come in handy, especially when you get to be my age and you want to look at things closely. This is a pretty nice uh, digital readout scale. Got a little uh, flip up thing to hold the uh, things in place. Digital readout using grams, pounds, kilograms, um, pounds and ounces. Um, got a hold zero. Capacity 75 pounds, 34 kilos. Uh, in the one to two pound range, it's uh, plus or uh, accurate to within two tenths of an ounce and two, two pounds to 75 pound range is within a half an ounce. So pretty good and it's got a uh, it's battery powered I believe. Yep, looks like it takes six double A's, no batteries in there. And also got a power supply and the uh, instruction manual for it. So uh, anybody needs a scale, let me know. I got a few of them now. I'm starting to get, to, I have three and it's starting to go over run on scales. And this was an unexpected spot find we dug up. We've got a whole box full of these old telegraph wire glass insulators. Some of them are a little chipped up and stuff like that, but they're still the colored ones. Uh, they used to bring a lot of money, but they really don't so much anymore. But I have a pretty good collection of them, and I'm going to sort out the best of them and see, do a little research on them to see what they are. So we got colored and clear and big ones. Hemming Ray 20. I've got some bricks on the inside of this one over here. Here's another pretty green ones. Some of these are kind of beat up, but Hemming Ray number 12. It looks like they've been banged around and beaten up a bit. Hopefully some of the ones inside here are in better condition. Here's some clear ones. More clear ones. And there's a whole box of them in here, all different sizes and uh, colors, green and blue and mostly clear it looks like. So that's cool. There's still collectible value to some of these things. sure what this is, it just which is some, some kind of weird tape, I'm not sure, it was just in the box. Here's some of that, uh,
Okay, here we go, part two. My uh, little Bluetooth controller messed up, and uh, I got a text message, and it shut the camera off in the middle of my video. Of course, I didn't know that. It, I continued on for another five minutes, so we're going to go back and go over some of this stuff. What I wanted to show you here was uh, the primary reason I went out there today to see her was to get... Uh, she has a bunch of glass stuff. Um, we saw the uh, insulators and stuff already. We've got a lot of little, uh, uh, all kinds of glass tiles and stuff. Some of the stuff is actually pretty cool. Come on. Let's get this out of here. Just this over here. One of the first things I want to show you is I have, these are marked as uh, Frank Lloyd Wright Luxfer, L-U-X-F-E-R, glass tile floral pattern and uh, I have one big one which is uh, about a uh, about a six by five or so and uh, get this up where you can see it better they're like hollow in the back uh, and this is pressed glass is not cut dirty right now you can see it's uh, very dusty But these are the kinds of things that, uh, my little bit of research on these, they used to use these in buildings when they didn't have a lot of electric lights and things like that. They'd set them into different sections of the building to let sunlight in, and then they were also decorative at the same time. So there's the, the big one, and then I have... A, a bunch of little ones. These are like four by four size. Uh, this one's kind of an amber colored. And that's a pattern. Here's one kind of a swirly pattern, more of a clear glass. Another one of those swirly pattern ones. This is kind of cool. This is ridged. I'm not sure which side is the back. I guess you can set it either way. And kind of a purple cast to it little design built into it. Here's the same, another one with ridges on one side and a design on the other and a kind of a purple cast to it. And then here's a bigger one. Uh, this has got a ridges on one side and this kind of a star pattern thingy purp very purpley. Uh, this one is marked Condi K C O N D I E dash Neal N E A L E dash glass company. Very pretty purple one. And this is a, a clear one with just ridged on the side. And it looks like somebody's done a copper foil around the outside of this stuff. This foil stuff, I've seen it before. Many, many, many years ago, I learned to do uh, some stained glass work, uh, both leaded, uh, the lead strips called cames. And, and then there was another style where they, would, they had this self-adhesive copper tape you could stick on the edges of pieces of glass. And then you could actually solder these together. Uh, you see like Tiffany lamps and that kind of stuff done that way because you can make a curve with it. You make it over a form and then solder all the pieces together. And then some other stuff. There's a whole bunch of these little tile samples. These are like little highlights. I don't think these are antique. These are new. And these, I just thought these were cool. Pretty uh, opalescent and pearlescent. Mother of pearl. Little sections that you add in as accent in a tile, tile setting. got lots of these little uh, little pieces of uh, glass that have been cut for like accents and this is kind of an orangey one uh, the glass is clear uh, it the color must be in the back the backing it's on there all right part three 
<laughs> camera keeps shutting off of me. I talk away over here and then I walk around and realize that the camera is shut off. So I had to sit there and watch all the video to see where it ended so I could fill in. So the last of this glass stuff is some larger tiles. These are about 8 by 8 9 by 9 something like that. They are a diffraction pattern uh, like a Fresnel lens uh, and they have these all these different patterns in them. These are modern. I don't think these are old stuff. Uh, they do have a color on the back. I mean they've been painted that gives them some of their color because these edges are all pencil edge which means they've been ground. It's not cut so they're all finished tiles that way. They're not cut. I had a bunch of little tiny pieces of the little one by ones that have been cut. You saw those in the earlier part of the video. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of these, a lot of blue ones, a lot of different crazy colors, I mean crazy patterns in them. I don't know if you can see these patterns on the video, but they uh, they really kind of makes your eyes crazy when you watch them. Don't try to put these up if you're drunk. So I have a whole bunch of these in blue, uh, and then also I have a bunch in, in, uh, in kind of an orange color, but they're buried down on the bottom. Uh, so... And uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, we've got a lot of different, a uh, whole bunch of little uh, collection of all of these. Have these little, not sure what this is for. A uh, really pretty cobalt blue glass uh, rosette of some kind. Got a hole in the center with tapered hole. Looks like it'd be fastened onto something. And then quite a few of these uh, cobalt glass drawer pulls. Uh, these are again, they look to be modern, although it's hard to tell. Uh, they could be like restoration hardware or something like that, but they do have a square nut on them, which is unusual. Modern stuff would be a hex nut, typically. And then also, as a bonus, I have this pretty cool uh, cobalt glass bowl that came with it. So. so, that's about all of the, the picking for today. Wait a minute, i got another box. Uh, just a few miscellaneous odd small electronics. I got a, a uh, Sony uh, Walkman CD Man player with auxiliary speakers, a, a little uh, Dymo handheld tape type label maker, and a little printing calculator and stuff like that. Just a bunch of little small office junk. You check the camera here again. Yep, we're still going. <laughs> All right, and kind of the piece de resistance, I have not actually opened it up completely, but uh, let me uh, give you a quick look at this. Let me take this selfie stick loose. And this over here. This, in these two boxes here, is called a, it's from New Line Cinema, the L-O-T-R, that's uh, Lord of the Rings, theatrical standee. This is a display with the uh, Lord of the Rings characters uh, and stuff like that, that they uh, would put up in a movie theater lobby. Uh, and it's never been opened. I, I partially opened it to see what was inside, but she bought them a long time ago and never, never took them out of the box. And I've kind of looked at them. They're kind of cool. I don't know if we can see anything inside here. But I'm going to get them out and see what's involved. And if I can put them together or get them out where I can get a, a good picture of them. I may just leave them in the box if they're too, too packed up. But let's take a quick peek inside here. Yeah, it's all... It's a whole big involved process of uh, putting this thing together here. I don't know if I'll take it out of the box or I'll just leave it there. I may, may that may be the only way I get a chance to figure it out. It looks like I have somebody's spear here that's a little wrinkled. <laughs> so I may have to take it apart just to get some pictures of it uh, before I can actually sell it. So anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.